Hello, curl friends, and welcome back to the Prison Frills channel. My name is Chloe, and if you are new here, I focus on all things curls, coils, waves, etc. I'm basically gonna be your go-to girl for curls. While I am your girl for curls, we're also here to talk about beauty and dupes and skincare and makeup and all things fun. I've been testing out for the past two months a split face of La Mer, one of the most expensive, highly sought after face creams. Y'all, this hurt to buy, not gonna lie. And then the ever so infamous Nivea cream. This right here, also significantly larger. This right here is known as being the closest thing to a La Mer dupe that is affordable. I've seen some quick reviews on this where they just like, you know, did like a quick test side by side. I didn't really feel like that was enough. As you know, skincare, you need a lot of time to really see how your skin is going to change and react with it. It could work for you for that one time and you might like the sheen or you might like the feel, but there's so much more to a cream than just the immediate effect. I did two months where I tried out the mini version, which is only 0.5 ounces, which retails for about a hundred dollars. And then I bought this off of Amazon, which was a whopping $11 and 98 cents for 400 milliliters. Not really sure what that equates to ounce wise, but I can tell you it's significantly more than this. <laughs> My goal was to debunk whether this was, in fact, a really good dupe compared to the lovely La Mer. Now, La Mer has had a cult following for a very, very long time. I think when we think of La Mer, we think of like somebody's rich grandma who like could afford this, right? And like it was the, the untouchable line for a lot of us. I remember walking through like a Nordstrom or like a Saks and seeing it at the beauty counter and just like looking at it and being like, oh yeah, that's like, Fancy, fancy, okay. <laughs> so I'm biting the bullet for you guys and I am using my own cash, my own cash monies to test this out for you guys. As you can see, I do have a clean face today because I did wanna just show you how these both apply and like what they look like, you know, immediately right after you put them on. So you're seeing me all fresh faced, fresh, fresh washed under very warm lighting. I do tend to get more red. So that's probably why you're gonna be seeing a little bit more red through the tops of my cheeks. Let's get into the tea. First and foremost, I saw a huge difference in my skin and I was actually pretty shocked, but I'm gonna share that here in a few minutes, what my skin actually looked like. Close up, macro lens, really where you can see my pores and be very transparent here so that you can really understand what this looks like close up. As I'm applying these, I'm gonna just kind of share with you what the ingredients look like in each of these, what are the really biggest differences, and then we'll go into my results that I saw over the past couple months. Now we're gonna go in with the Nivea cream. Holy cow, that is so overexposed. This should allow you to see it better. So you can see this is very, very thick. It almost reminds me of what like a mineral sunscreen would look like. So we're gonna just warm this up in our hands a little bit. I'm gonna put this on one side. I've been testing the Nivea on my left side and the La Mer on my right. You know what? Pause the video, put a comment right now. Can you see a difference in my skin? I remember I've been doing this for two months. I can see a difference, but we'll get into that more in a little bit. All right, now I am going to apply this right on to the left side. Now, when I first started applying the Nivea, I have to say I was not a huge fan of the scent. It just really, it kind of smells like grandma. <laughs> it's the best way I can put it. It really does. Um, and so when we're looking at the ingredients here, I bought the German kind. There is a German version and there is an American version. They have different ingredients, different consistencies but they're labeled as basically the same product just in different countries. So I went on Amazon and found German version and 
One of the things that as I was reading up on it that people said was the biggest difference is that the German version, like I showed you, is very, very thick. It's very emollient, whereas the American version is a lot, it's just a lot thinner and um, they do have different ingredients. And from everything I could read, and this is why I bought the German version, is because it has higher quality ingredients. Now, I'm gonna bring up the ingredient list here. As you can see, the ingredients here on the German Nivea are actually, it's a very small ingredient list for an overall skincare product. Normally, the list is quite a bit longer. And one of the things that you're gonna see here that is a huge difference from the low Mare cream is that it is free of petrolatum type ingredients. So what does that mean? It means it's free of mineral oil. It means it's free of petrolatum. And it also means that it is free of microcrystalline wax. Now, all of those are derived from petrolatum. Now, petrolatum is definitely, or petroleum, you can call it whatever you like. I personally think it's a really great ingredient. It's rare to have an allergy from it. It pretty much doesn't have much of a fragrance at all. Um, if you've ever used Vaseline, I think all of us have, Vaseline is actually petrolatum. What all of those are doing is it's causing a barrier, right? So it's helping to trap in the moisture, helping to trap in all that goodness. If you put on serums ahead of time, any of that goodness, it is sealing it into your skin. So it's not allowing that skin to breathe like sometimes people want, which is why these products are really made for somebody who has normal to dry skin or extremely dry skin. Also with those ingredients, there is some marketing that makes you believe by saying, petrolatum free or mineral oil free that tells you that this is technically like a bad ingredient and the reality is it's not I did a lot of research on different dermatologist websites health websites and nothing could be linked to health risks the only thing is that because it does act as this emollient barrier on your skin it can sometimes clog pores in my opinion and in the past two months while keep in mind i do actually have very sensitive skin i did not have any breakout that i felt was really related to the products i maybe had a couple random pimples and i can tell you right now it's probably because i didn't wash my face a because i was in my that part of my cycle or it's just like a random zit that we all just randomly get what i will also say is when i've tried any sort of thick products like this, almost always within a one to two week time, I have legitimate breakouts, like full legitimate breakouts on my forehead, full legitimate breakouts on like, you know, like where I touch my face, like all through here. So I did not experience any of that with either of these products, which is pretty beautiful. Now moving on to La Mer. La Mer I have right here, okay? And this, I pretty much finished this mini version and I have a little bit left in here to show you. And what you'll basically see is a very similar looking consistency, all right? And as I put this on my face, in my opinion, oh, I should have, <laughs> I already messed up. You're supposed to rub it around in your fingers and get it warmed up before you like rub and pat it in onto your face so that it kind of looks more like this. It kind of looks a little more clear versus white. So let's go through, as I'm patting this in, let's go through the ingredients in creme, creme de la mer. As I'm bringing up these ingre this ingredient list, what you're going to see is you're gonna see those key petrolatum ingredients, which are helping seal in that moisture within your skin. You're also going to see at the very top, which if you're not familiar with the way ingredient lists are basically lined up, the first ingredient is going to be the most potent, largest portion of what goes into that ingredient list. And at the bottom is going to be the least amount. Normally those last ones are literally less than one or 2%. They're very, very small portions of what's actually making up that product. When we look at this, it has a key ingredient called algae extract. Now, what is algae extract and why is this so important to La Mer? I'm actually gonna read this directly from what they have on the La Mer website for why they use this algae seaweed extract. So they say, 
Algae contain a wide range of different active substances, many of which can be used as a highly effective ingredient in cosmetics. For example, proteins from algae supply skin cells with energy and protect them against dehydration. Vitamins and beta carotene strengthen them, slow down the skin's aging process, and protect against harmful environmental influences. So it's also helping protect against like free radicals with antioxidants and things like that. La Mer extracts these beneficial active substances from the algae and uses them in skincare products that boost the skin's natural defenses and help it resist dehydration. Just like algae, our skin is exposed to challenging conditions day in and day out. Honestly, I was very, very skeptical and I really was have been rooting for Nivea to do basically the same thing, but I can't deny the differences that I've seen in my skin over the past two months, and this is what I'm gonna show you. So I've got two photos up here. These two photos are direct side-by-sides from the same day, and I took it after about five hours of wearing makeup. Can you see the difference? On the Nivea side, my makeup had broken apart. It was showing so much additional texture in my skin, whereas La Mer was beautiful. No difference in what I had put on my face that day other than those two specific products on each side. This was really one of the most impactful photos for me during this two month little skincare journey of mine. The next photo I'm gonna show you is from 30 days into my journey. <laughs> Just look at the texture in my skin. Look at the color in my skin. I did have a couple zits because that's where I do tend to get them because I do this to my face all the day. So you'll see that a little bit towards my ear. I don't believe that had anything to do with the product. It's like a night and day difference of smooth texture, the overall coloration and smoothness. I'm gonna come up closer to you guys. This is the Nivea side. You can see I have a lot more warmth through the bottom of my cheek here. And over here, I still have that little bit of warmth here, nowhere near as much at the bottom of my cheek. And that is one of the things that I saw, whether I was under warm lights like I am right now, or I had just put it on or what have you, I saw a very large difference over 30 days with how much less rosacea I had overall. With that, I also took a picture from further away. This was right after I had put it on and you'll see something very similar here. My right side cheek, everything looks very clean, very clear, very smooth. And then you move over to the other side and you're seeing again so much more redness and irritation in the skin. And I felt that every single time that I was using it. After that 30 day period, my rosacea had significantly gone down. It's actually kind of, I was in awe when I saw the picture side by side of what the difference really looked like. Nivea really is made specifically to be a highly moisturizing cold cream. It's not made to have the extra, you know, little bit of antioxidants and anti-aging and all the different like little goodness, right? It is, I mean, it's $12. It's so, so cheap. <laughs> and you get so much of it. So it really is just made to seal that barrier in. So if you have other really high-end ingredients and other high-end serums that you're using, you could use Nivea over top to seal it in at night. But with La Mer, I actually saw very, very evident differences. I didn't wanna believe that like the Kardashians and everybody who like talks about it and raves about it and like everything over the years, I didn't wanna believe it. I wanted to just believe that like if you had a lot of money that like, you know, you could just buy it and it really was just like, you know, a status symbol. But I am now honestly a very true believer. Here are the 60 day results directly after I put it on. And one of the things too you're gonna see here is I saw that Nivea sat on my skin for significantly longer and gave me this very intense shine. Whereas La Mer, I feel like it sunk into my skin more and it just really became one with my skin. And I think that's why this broke up my makeup a lot more. I see just a lot more redness, again, still in my cheeks. Whereas just as the other picture before, I saw so much more smoothness in my skin and just more clarity, not as much texture in my pores, 
just overall really solid, good looking skin. What are my key takeaways here? I don't think I'll be using Nivea because number one, I don't really feel like it gave me any sort of huge benefits. I do spend on my skincare. However, I don't normally spend on La Mer type skincare. I saw smoother texture. I saw bouncier, more hydrated skin that also didn't look overly shiny. I saw a more even coloration overall in my entire skin. Everything else I've seen online does not give you a true interpretation of what it's like to use the product for a long period of time, side by side. So I used my face for you. And if I had to choose a scent, I definitely liked La Mer's scent over Nivea scent. So who's the winner? I think you can probably already tell. La Mer was the very clear winner for me. I have been a skincare guru since I was like 16 years old. I'm 30 now. Oh yeah, that's probably a key factor. I'm 30 years old. Most that are this thick do tend to break me out. This is the first time I've had something that is very thick like this and very emollient to really work for my skin. And y'all, I liked the 0.5 ounce so much. I bought the bigger one. <laughs> I did it, I did it. And you know what, do I feel a little guilty? Yes, but do I also really like the results that I'm seeing and how it sits in my makeup? and how I'm seeing my skin improve daily, I do. So who is this really for? This is for somebody who has normal to dry skin or extremely dry skin. If you have oily skin, these products are not for you. So please don't try them because I can guarantee you that you will not like them because they are going to be extremely emollient rich, extremely oil, more oily on the skin. So if you already tend to be very oily, I, these are just not gonna be your friend. But if you have dry skin and you are starting to worry about aging and you are starting to worry about fine lines and texture and all of that, I'm gonna tell you it's worth it. When I did my 0.5 kit, I ended up getting like a little kit of like some of their other products to like try out. I think that it's 0.5 is the full size eye cream. I have tried a mini of eye creams. Every single one gives me those little white dots underneath my eyes and I just can't do it. So I always end up going for a serum instead for the eye and that tends to work better for me. This is the first ever eye cream that has worked for me. And I'm kind of hooked on this too, which is wild that I'm hooked on two La Mer products after testing them for two months. Cause normally I'd be like, mm, nothing special, nothing too different. I'll try something else. This was different. So La Mer, well done. I have linked all these products down below. If you would like me to do more dupe tests, let me know in the comments because I would love to do some more. If you have ideas on them, share them below. And if you have not already, hit the subscribe button so you never miss any of my testing tutorials, tips and tricks. And y'all, I'll see you next week. Bye.